Hello, welcome to my channel. I decided to make a channel <coughs> to focus on missing children and try to spread the word through YouTube. I mean, this is one of the biggest platforms, so why not try and use it for some good? That is my goal behind this. And with that being said, the topic today is the case of Cherry and Man. Cherry was an eight-year-old little girl who went to a local elementary school in Pennsylvania. Um, I did look up the name because I wanted to pronounce it correctly, and it is Cherry, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, her mother is Janice McKinney, and her mom would walk her to the bus stop every day. And um, the dad, stepdad, his name was Leroy McKinney, he would go and pick her up from the bus stop, which wasn't far away from their house. Their house was on, um, on a hill, so there was like an incline down to the base of the, uh, the driveway. And then from the driveway, it was maybe about 50 feet. So it wasn't that far from her home. And on that day, he went to go pick her up. They actually heard the school bus. So that's how close it was. You can hear the bus coming. So they hear the bus coming and he's getting ready to head down there. And she says, you know what? Let her walk home. It's nice out. It's a beautiful day. It's not that far. She'll be fine. Well, she wasn't. She wasn't fine. After about, I think like 10 minutes of them not hearing from her, they decide, you know, to head down there and figure out where she was and what was going on. And they didn't have anything. They found absolutely nothing. No footprints in the snow. There was snow on the ground. And the only thing that they found were tire tracks in the snow. There's no footprints. Nothing. So immediately the authorities were called, they got cadaver dogs on this, they got bloodhounds, helicopters, you name it, everything. They had search parties and nothing ever turned up. I took notes because my mind will wander and we'll start talking about something that doesn't even matter from like 1975. So yeah. So at 4.10 p.m. on February 22nd, 1985, Cherry Ann Mahan was never seen or heard from again. Here is what we know. We know that she was seen getting on her bus. She was seen in school, and she was seen getting off of the school bus. Um, she walked with a few classmates and um, a mom that was doing the carpool. They, they saw her and confirmed she got off the bus and was walking home. Now, there was an, a van that was parked outside the bus stop area, and this van had never been seen before by anybody, so it was suspicious anyways. But what really gets me is that it had this mural on the side of a snowboarder riding the snow caps. So it was a big mural on the side of this van. The color was either a light brown or a green. They couldn't, they got two different stories on that. The mother of the carpool, she swears it was light blue, which would kind of make sense being that, you know, it's supposed to be the sky and whatnot. So very distinctive though. You would think that somebody else would have seen this, this van and they haven't had any reports on it. Nobody claimed to have seen it after Sherry was, Cherry was taken. That's kind of weird. I would definitely know that van, you know, like that's something that would stand out. I don't know. So they had raised um, money either for ransom or 
or whatever that had to do with the case, right? The community came together. They raised thousands of dollars as a reward. But nothing ever panned out from any of the tips. Um, until 2011, actually. And a big tip came in. They won't disclose it. It could be detrimental to the case, so they can't. They have to wait for somebody to come forward. But in 1997, they declared her legally dead. The state of Pennsylvania and her parents. The money that was raised was donated to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. <clears throat> and uh, time passes. Unfortunately, you know, you have to move on. You have to live. I mean, we're here. We have to still live and breathe so after about four years um they had a new baby they had a baby boy and her trust fund was given to him and it's kind of sweet it's kind of like a gift that his sister gave to him and he didn't get to know his sister and she doesn't even know she has a brother Um, after, you know, a couple years, they'll update the, um, the rendition to make her older, and so far, nothing has come from that either. <sighs> her mother loved her and doted on her. Um, Janice was pretty young. When she had Cherry, she was 15. And... They grew together. They grew up together. And that's something I can relate to because I had my daughter at 19. Granted, it wasn't as young as her, but still, I grew up with her and I've always said that. So that can re that resonates with me a little bit. Her stepdad loved her and easily accepted her as his own. There was no question. He raised her. She was described as friendly, talkative, smart, um, popular and happy. I think that's something important because she was happy. Um, usually in some cases, children aren't. And that's usually a sign that leads to other things. But she was a happy little girl. And that afternoon that she disappeared, she actually had a play date set up. So she was looking forward to going and playing with her friends. And she was never seen again. She never got that play date. Um... Her mother believes that this case can still be solved. She doesn't believe Cherry's biological father was involved, but maybe an acquaintance. They didn't elaborate on that. That's just what I got from reading. Um, I'm going to close this story out with a quote from Janice McKinney, saying, When people die, you have a body. You kiss them upon their face, and you put them in the ground, and you say goodbye. This is something I never had. This is not over. We will keep looking for Cherry. If nothing else, she is alive in our hearts. I decided to make this my first video because Cherry's case was the first to be featured on postcards and mailed out nationwide by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children with the headline of Have You Seen Me? So she was the first Have You Seen Me child. Her name is Cherry Mahan. She was born August 14th, 1976. She was last seen on February 22nd, 1985. She was four foot two inches, brown hair, 68 pounds, hazel eyes. She's got a scar on her left arm from a dog bite. If you have any information whatsoever, please reach out to the authorities. Let them know, because I honestly think that all it takes is one person. And I think that somebody knows something about this case, especially that van. That van is pretty damn distinctive and never seen from since that day. That was the only reported sighting of that van. So reach out to your local authorities. Share this information so we can get this little girl and her parents some closure. That's what the mom wants. She wants closure. Um, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll, I'll know all the information 
all the um, sources and everything down below. And I hope you have a great weekend.